easy watching, easy filming, still fun. Um, I thought I would just share with you a little beauty haul of just a couple of bits I've like picked up over the last few weeks um, and I've collected them together into a little bit of a haul for you um, because there's some new products that I'm very very excited about. Um, so let's just crack on. I think there's a mixture of um, internet, super drug and boots. So there we go. Um, where I can, I will leave links in the description. And when I say where I can, I mean where I can remember where I got them from. So yeah, let's just do that. I do, <laughs> I do have Leonard, who's currently decided he wants to be sat on my knee right here. He's usually there behind me on the bed. Right now he's like right next to me. And he keeps just putting his paw on my side and just, you know, seven stone Labrador pushes you. You're gonna move, aren't you? Really. So if I do keep doing this, just it's Leonard. Okay. You okay? Like a bubby's boy, aren't ya? It just loves me. Right, let's get started, shall we? Um, if you like today's makeup, by the way, head to my Instagram, twill be on there. Stop pushing me. Um, right, where shall we start? Tap my leg once if you want me to start on foundation, Leonard. <gasps> do ya? Hey, come here. Oh, sorry, I just have to cuddle my dog. He's been very demanding. Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. Right, let's do skin care slash preparation first because that's where what he's stuck. He's literally led next to me, just banging my leg when I'm not stroking him. <sighs> me. I'll just whiz through this video nice and quick. The dog has other ideas. Um, right, so that's where we would start if we were using these products. So, first of all, I've got the e.l.f. Bounce Back, I'm going to have to read it, Bounce Back Jelly Cleanser, um, which just looks absolutely lovely. Um, I'm kind of like well into skincare at the minute. I don't know what it is. Um, I used to just think, okay, I've got a clean face and okay, that was a nice product to use. But oh my God, I'm like finding it really interesting to... Um, learn about different types of products and what to use them with and different ingredients and what that means and um, I really struggle at this time of year going into uh, autumn winter from summer and um, my skin just has a meltdown like I've been on the planet almost 39 years you think my skin had like suss out that it's okay it's not good it's not gonna die you're fine um, and I'm very into, at the moment, double cleansing. So I wanted to pick this up because it seems to be, uh, it looks like it's going to be very, still very hydrating, not stripping. I can sometimes find, if I use something where I wash my face, it just strips it and makes it even drier than it is normally. But this seems to be a very, very hydrating, very, very cushiony, soft uh, cleanser that I thought would work well during a double cleanse or on a day where I just want to clean my face, I don't really want to go for the whole shebang, maybe I've not got makeup on, um, for ya, Alexa, um, can't remember how much this was, as I said, if I am organised, it will be in the description, if it isn't in the description, then I've just been a dizzy mare and forgotten, I am sorry, okay, thank you very much, okay, so it says, with hydrating coconut, no parabens, no sulfates, and no phthalates, how, how, how is this pronounced? Thank you very much. Phthalates, P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. What? Phthalates. Phthalates. To go find out. <laughs> We've got Google going on. Don's the background. Phthalates. Go on, Google, Google's version. What? Phthalate. Phthalate. It's got none of them anyway. It's a salt. It's a salt. And it's yeah, salt. It's, it's a salt and battery of my tongue. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> that one tickle you. Do you like that one? <laughs> right, well, it's none of the. They don't got any of them in. I don't. I, okay. There we go. Um, blah, 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 blah. Dampen skin and apply a small amount of cleanser onto the face. Gently massage in circular motions and rinse with water, just in case you don't know how to wash your face. There we go. Um, what else did I get, skinny wise? Oh, got these. It's another elf thing. Actually, I'm quite liking elf at the moment, you know. There we go. Um, right, so these are the under eye mask situations. Obviously, um, I'm getting to that age where my skin's starting to change texture and I'm trying to um, 
I don't care. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to have, like, a face of marble. I never have had, to be honest. But I'm certainly not going to look like that when I'm 85, and I don't really care. I'd quite like to look like a rugged old lady and, like, have all this evidence that I've lived. That, you know, that's fine. And I'm certainly not going to lose any sleep over um, wrinkles and texture. But... Um, I do want to look after my skin and I do want to kind of help it still stay healthy and feeling nice. I think when you've got kind of dry sensitive skin it's more about it feeling nice and hydration is a massive thing in that. So I really like these kind of pat under eye patches that you can just pop on like with a face mask or before you're doing makeup for a night out like I've got a couple of special nights out coming up I've got Paul's birthday if I don't get started um and then I've got one of my friends um 30th as well which is a massive party so these will be coming in handy so these are the elf hydrogel under eye masks I nearly carried on reading then but then realised that was the French version of what I just said and the fact that I just got so stuck over salad I wasn't going to attempt French. I hope you understand. Thank you very much. Um, so this says it's with purified water. Thank you. Hopefully not holy water. Uh, seaweed extract and licorice. Okay, there we go. Don't know why we need a bit of uh, Bassett's in there uh what does it say a hydrating gel mask to help plump moisturize and soothe the under eye area for smooth looking skin marvelous this convenient pack includes three refreshing sets of eye patches designed for single use application you can well get more than one application out of them trust me just put them back in the little packet there'll be still loads of serum left on it you can totally use them again marvellous again can't remember how much they were i will try to remember to leave it done the description um this was a sneaky little one and this isn't actually for me and i wonder if charlotte actually remembers choosing it um oh, my dog is so cute he's just sat with his paws on my knee just having a lovely day um so we then got the t-zone glitter mask uh pore refining peel off silver mask which has got biodegradable glitter in it, which is wonderful, made from plant cellulose. We don't want any uh, ocean damage, thank you very much. Um, so this says it's got witch hazel in, which helps to refine pores. I can read, it's just a very reflective package, so I'm trying to like not blind myself. Uh, helps to refine pores. <laughs> Doing really well at pronunciation today, aren't I? Do I get a gold star, thank you. Refine pores for a flawless complexion wow okay t-zone glitter mask peel off silver draws out impurities to help keep skin clear marvelous love a glittery peel off face mask do love it slightly and i didn't get one for myself now but there we go <laughs> Um, right, that's it for like skincare, skin prep type stuff. So let's do... I'm actually going to leave the brushes to the last because they're the most exciting and I'm very excited. Um, okay, so makeup wise, I've been really trying to find, like I've got a million palettes. My eyeshadow, I'm good. I've got all of them. Um, I feel like blushes, got a million. Highlighters, got thousands. Um, but something I was really struggling with was foundation and concealer and trying to find the right combination of shades and undertones because I've got several on one face. Um, and, uh... Yeah, trying to find the concealer in a good shade to work as a highlight with that that wasn't too like um what's the word contrasty and like not quite going with it so it's been a bit of a mission so we do have a few different options um first of all i got another bottle of the revolution conceal and hydrate if you saw my review video my first impressions of that when it first got released um the shade i got the shade i got was um a shade that i'd used in the old range that did work um but then i don't know it just looked like a really weird color on me in the conceal and hydrate version um it was far too pale it was a little bit gray -y, or it went that color on my skin anyway on that particular day i managed to work with it like i totally sorted it out with bronzer and contour and powder and managed to warm it back up again but yeah just it wasn't right um so i've gone back in um and gone for another bottle of that in f 5.7 so this is more for a kind of 
your light olive skin tones which seems to be, look absolutely fine so i'm really really hoping that this is a better match for my skin and just kind of not quite so um draining it just i just look drained i look like i've been dead about three years by that point um so i'm very excited to try this one um if you don't know and you haven't seen any of the reviews and you haven't heard this is kind of a follow-up to the conceal and define range which was more for um it was more mattifying for kind of your combination oily skin tones skin tones skin types there we go um whereas this is the hydrating version for us uh, normal to dry skin folk so i'm very excited for that one um also in the conceal and hydrate range we have concealers so they've brought out a new range of concealers as well in the new conceal and hydrate range can't believe i just got all those words right yes another gold star thank you very much um so i've gone for a c3 in this one i was using c 0.5 but weirdly again it's that's the one i've been using forever in the conceal and define range the conceal and hydrate just seems to be so pale on me i don't understand why i don't understand why i just don't get it so i've gone for the c3 which is um a bit less of a harsh brightness to it if that makes sense um but will still give me that kind of highlighted under eye brightening effect also i got um very much treated myself to a couple of the fenty products so i've got the uh pro filter hydrating foundation from fenty which again like the conceal and hydrate is the kind of follow-up to their original foundation which was the um i think just a pro filter foundation but again was mattifying and more for the combination oily skin types um whereas this is more hydrating for the normal to dry skin types marvelous um again i've got the original foundation but even though it was like the perfect shade match in the store when i put it all over my face it was just too pale and i needed to i needed to do too much work to it to warm it up i can do it but it just takes work to kind of make it look less like i'm dead um so i've gone for a, a couple of shades up so i've gone for the 170 and it's actually what i'm wearing at the moment and i absolutely love it i think it's a much better shade match and i've not had to do a lot to it to warm it up or anything like that i've just used my standard product i've not had to use any bronzer or any kind of deep blusher or anything at all i've literally just powdered in a couple of different tones um a little bit of pale blush you can't really see it um but i'm really really happy with it so yeah i'm loving this formula and i'm loving the color more i just couldn't wait to use it i'm sorry but i thought i'd show you anyway also with that i was very brave and bought two fenty things at once and i'm now just gonna have beans on toast for the rest of the month okay um so then i also got the new pro filter primer which again is for um more normal to dry skin types and it's oh my god the texture on this is like nothing i've ever used it's like a gel but like a milky gel like it's bizarre I highly recommend this really really enjoy it i do have a video coming out testing these so if it's not up wait for it if it is up go back and find it because it'll be interesting uh right what have we done what haven't we done oh sticking with makeup oh it's another elf one have we all seen the elf jelly was it jelly pop range or just the jelly range so they've got some like skincare and makeup which is in this like jelly consistency and they've got some lip glosses which really remind me of the juicy tubes from like the 90s early 2000s which i really really wanted but i had babies so i chose to feed them instead you're very welcome so this is one of the blushes in the new jelly pop range and they're so weird Ugh, they're so weird so this is called flush blush there we go very excited to use this and I really hope you can see the consistency on camera i'm like trying not to like spill it can you see there's that weird jelly texture to it it just looks incredible and like you're never gonna run out of that i know it's a really small pot but there's not a chance you're ever gonna run out of this so i really like it um so this one is the peach pop one um i think there's there's like a ready one and then there's a pinker one as well i think um so go and check that range out i really want to try the jelly skincare 
as well because that just looks so hydrating and so just comfortable and lovely <sighs> okay um on to hair um because the other things i've got relate to brushes and i want to keep them for last because they're the most exciting um on to hair and i've got the charles worthington volume and bounce big blow dry spray it's a lot of the Bounce, big blow drop. There we go. Um, add luxurious volume, high shine, and long lasting weightless control whilst protecting hair with 235 degrees C thermal protection. What more do you want? I don't use a lot of products on my hair. I'm pretty much one of those that just shampoos, really good condition, um, as in really good conditioner. Like, I don't mind spending a little bit more on my shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then I don't tend to do a lot to it. I'll maybe straighten it um every now and again when i can be bothered because i have a lot of hair i'll curl it i love it when i curl it like if i could be bothered that would be my everyday hairstyle because i love it um i'm just very lazy but i don't use a lot of hair products but because i've got fine hair and because i've got a lot of it it gets very heavy and very flat so i do like to have my big hair and a bit of volume um and i figured this was kind of a a three in one almost it's like a volumizer it's a shine enhancer and it heat protects as well so well impressed to try that and i really like these spray bottles as well i just think they're really easy to use rather than the push down ones i like these like trigger ones very excited um right on to my favorite brush cleaner i think i've used this or i think i've shown you this in a few favorites videos because it's the only one i can use like i literally had a panic attack the other week because i couldn't find it in the shop and i had to get a different one and i didn't like it um so this is the b range from superdrug and it's just the brush cleaner spray oh my god so good couple of spritzes i don't care what color you've used i don't care how dark the color you've used i don't care how pigmented couple of sprays of this wudge it around on a towel or a tissue and it just comes straight off again and you can pretty much use the brush straight away they, they just dry straight away it's brilliant it's antibacterial it doesn't smell awful i'm getting a cuddle off a labrador what more could i want the next two items i'm very very excited about so i've gone a bit mad so do you remember when i bought the more fake times jeffree star collab and i was very like okay let's just test the water with this like higher end brand that i'm used to definitely like higher price point than i'm used to and i was so impressed with the palette that i bought and the one morphe brush that i bought to test i've been so impressed that then when i saw an email to say that the um jeffree star morphe brush sets were on sale i sort of dived in really i think all brush sets were on sale but then i saw these um and just had to get them because they're bright pink so we've got this one which i believe is the current collaboration one and we get the lovely kind of vinyl case with it that you could use as a little pencil case you could use it for the brushes you could use it for lip liners eyeliners totally reusable elixir um and then we've got this fabulous bunch of brushes three with the white bristles and oh my god like the softness is ridiculous like and it's soft it's so soft are you okay bear with shift in position um so yeah so we've got the i'm not gonna go no i'm not gonna name them all because there's loads yeah so we've got a mixture of uh fluffy blending brushes oh, i nearly did it oh tripped up at the last minute fluffy blending brushes mix of those then we've got some pink bristled ones which i just think are beautiful um and we've got some like little tiny detail ones i love you look at a leonard snout <laughs> oh, <bless. laughs> oh bless you he said no he said no thank you you good um so we've got <laughs> this dog all right okay okay um so yeah we've got some little detail brushes as well which i'm very excited about because I feel like as I kind of increase my skill level and things that I want to try and create, I need like better brushes. And I've been really frustrated lately because I've been trying to do little detailed work and I just can't do it because my brushes are all way too big and I've got tiny eyes. So very, very excited. Um, things like this one, let's get him out of the packaging. 
things like this one, they're just tiny so I can really get in. I've got really deep set creases but they're small so I can really get into the crease. <laughs> they're not for you, they're not. Um, I can really get into the crease and into the corners and everything with those. Um, so yeah, loving those. So we've got, oh there's one with a spoolie as well, a leaks up. Oh, love the little like eyebrow slash lip one. We've got a cute little spoolie on the end as well, which I love. Hmm. See, we've got a nice pink spoolie there that's just going to get full of like dark eyebrow products. So I don't want to use them because they're all pink and beautiful. Um, so right, in that set, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brushes. And as I say, a mixture of... Um, different brushes different sizes different things to use them with and oh you're stuck and we've got the case as well so loving them very excited i'm so impressed with the morphe brush that i bought so i can't wait to use them um then i got this one as well which i believe is from the first collaboration i've probably got that completely the wrong way around but i think that's how it's gone and um, so i think this is from the first collaboration so this again, we've got the pink um, case that again, you can use for whatever you want. I love the holographic sort of iridescent edging around the zip. Well into me, iridescent holographic. Look how wide that opens out. You can get loads in there, which is gonna be great for traveling. So again, full of brushes, but this one has got some face brushes in it as well, which I thought was wonderful. And oh my God, wait till you see the handles look at the cute detail on that just look at them they are absolutely gorgeous and so soft like i can't i can't get over how soft they are can't get over it this one is the one i'm most excited about though because this one which is the j this is the js4 very excited to use that for highlight you just see some brushes being used and you think oh i need that so I'm very excited to use him for highlighter. I'm so excited. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hello. Oh, have you fed up for me now? Are you done? And there he goes. He's happy now. Um, so we've got another seven brushes in there, which I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, that was me haul, really. Um, I did, weirdly, get a selection of these from Superdrug as well that they just popped into the box, which are the Listerine Go tabs that you can like chew and it releases like mouthwash or something. So I don't know what, I don't know what Superdrug are trying to say, but uh, there, there we go. So that was it. That was my little, little mini beauty haul um, featuring just a few different things that I've bought recently that I thought would just group together. A couple of them I have been naughty and used already because I just couldn't wait. I was too excited. Um, but that's what I've been buying recently. Let me know if you've used any of these as well and what your thoughts are. And let me know what your favourite was. Let me know if you've been inspired to go and purchase any of these. Um, do go and have a look in the description. I will do my best to remember to leave later. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to write it down and then I don't forget. Bear with. Leave. Links. There we go. I've written it down for you. Probably still won't do it, but go with me, okay? Um, yeah, so let me know what your thoughts were. Go and give this video a big thumbs up, please. Make sure you share it far and wide. We are trying our best to get up to the YouTube threshold of 1,000 subscribers and um, 4,000 watch hours. I think we're about 2,600 at the minute, so... If you could all share with everybody and, you know, just get your snacks and just have a good old Layla Land binge, that would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, go and follow me on social media and come and say hello to me as well. I really like it when you do that. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Remember, I love you this much from here all the way around the world and back to here again. And um, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.